So today I'm going to show you how to tie a super simple caddis soft tackle. Um, works great in the springtime. So in the vise we are going to be tying on a Tiemco TMC 2457, which is just a great caddis pupa hook. And we're going to go ahead and throw a gold bead on there, but black looks really good as well, you know, especially with these caddis patterns. So go ahead and start your thread just in front of the point of the hook. And lay some thread down all the way back to the bend of the hook. And then we're going to take some super fine dry fly dubbing and olive. Go ahead and use whatever shade of green you'd like to match your local caddis hatch. And we're going to use this to dub a body. And I don't typically taper the body on these soft tackles, but feel free to give it a taper if you'd like to. So we're going to go ahead and dub a nice body all the way up to a bit in front of the point of the hook. And then we're going to give a nice little dubbing ball there at the front. And with a lot of soft tackle flies, um, you typically use this um, this dubbing ball to help give the hackle a nice profile. Go ahead and whip finish behind the bead. Uh, but with this pattern, we're actually going to use it to keep the bead in place and use that bead to prop up those fibers and give it a nice, nice soft hackle profile. Go ahead and start the thread back in front of the bead. And lay some thread down all the way up to behind the eye of the hook. And then we're going to tie in a Hungarian partridge hackle. Uh, so go ahead and find a nice feather there. You know, at least with the partridge I get, there's just such a wide variance of feathers in that pack. So find one that's looking good for you. Go ahead and clean the bottom of the feather off there. And take those feathers and work them all back towards the base of the feather. Just leave a little tip there to tie in. And go ahead and tie that in directly in front of the bead. Trim that tip. You can do this with your bare hands or with some hackle pliers. You want to just palmer that hackle towards the front of the fly. And with each rotation that you make, you want to continue to work those fibers back towards the bead. I find that about two or three wraps is kind of the perfect amount, but throw as much of that hackle as you'd like. Trim the base of the feather, pull all those fibers back and clean the head off. Go ahead and whip finish. And we're going to take some UV clear fly finish and thin. Just give it a nice clean head. Spin it around a little bit. Even it up. 
and then bake it in. Like I said, this fly works great in the springtime uh, for trout or some of those smaller spring steelhead. Just kind of quarter downstream with it, swing it on a tight line, and hopefully it produces some grabs for you.